All right, I have a word for you. And before we go into this word, I would like to welcome everyone. And uh, if you're new to this channel, I kindly request you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you may receive future videos from me. And uh, this is a place where we sit down and encourage each other and uh, sh uh, we hear God's word. Now, I do not want you to take money's word, but to take what God says about your life. Because uh, many times men may speak words that are negative or about our lives that, and, uh, or words that are, are just vanity. But God has a final say for your word. And uh, read the scriptures for yourself. Do not just sit down and allow the word pass by you. Go back and verify from the scriptures whether the words that are spoken are from God. Test the spirits. Very important. Now the word that I have for you is I will add to what you have. I will add to what you have. Now, wait a minute. Some people may say, I have nothing. You may look around and you feel like you have nothing. But God sees that little that you have, that little that you call nothing. He sees it and he's going to add to what you have. I'm reminded of a, a passage of a scripture where there was a, a, a widow and uh, the prophet of the Lord called Elisha uh, came to the widow and, and the widow had a problem. It was a very big problem that the creditor had, was coming to take his, her two sons into slavery and the widow thought she had nothing at all. But when Elijah asked her, what do you have? Then she responded that she had a jar of oil. It was a little. Then uh, uh, the prophet told her to go out and borrow empty vessels, empty tins. Now uh, she went out and borrowed empty vessels, empty tins from her neighbors, from, from everywhere she could. Then she she, she, she gathered the empty vessels around and uh, the, the, the prophet told her to pour the oil into those vessels. Remember, she had just a little oil. But miraculously, as she was pouring the oil in one vessel, it got filled up and she poured it, the oil in another vessel. It got filled up. Now it reached a time when all the vessels, vessels she had borrowed were filled to capacity, to a full and she had no other vessels. And the, the, the oil was stopped from coming. Then, then the, the, the prophet told her to go out and sell those empty vessels and, and pay back. So she went out and saw the empty vessels. I'm not, uh, the, not the empty vessels, I, I mean she went out and sold the vessels that were filled with oil. So she was saved. But listen, the scripture says that when she had filled all the vessels, the oil stopped. Now imagine that the lady had a lot of vessels. Imagine she had more vessels. The oil would not have stopped. It was according to her faith. If she had, if she had borrowed about 50 then that, that, that's, why, that's what the oil will stop to. If she had borrowed about a hundred, if she had got around a hundred vessels, she would have had full vessels of oil that are a hundred. The word is, I will add to what you have. Another uh, passage of the scripture is um, when Jesus was with uh, 5,000 people and uh, the people, it seemed as though the people needed something to eat, and some of them were hungry. So he called out his disciples and he told them to see if there's someone who has something. 
So it reached and there was this young kid who had five uh, loaves of bread and two fish. So they brought them. Many of you know this story. So when they brought them to Jesus and Jesus prayed for them, they multiplied the fish and the, and the five loaves of bread. So everyone was filled to capacity. That is how God does his things. You may think that you have nothing left with you, but he's going to add up to what you have. You may look at what you are left with. Some of you are, uh, uh, may have something that is little, or it's money, or, or, or it's something that is little to, to, to move you on to the next week. But God will add on to that. He may even bring someone, he may send someone to bless you. Blessings can come from nowhere, from places that you didn't expect. Even God can even cause your enemies, your adversaries to bless you. So do not lock your doors. Do not think that uh, it is over for you. Don't, don't, don't think more that. He is going to add to what you have. It starts from what you have. What do you have? The boy had two loaves, two, 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 five loaves of bread and two fish, and God added on that. The lady, the widow, had a little jar of oil, and that's where God added on to. That's what, that was the starting point. Look around you. What do you have? What is it that you have around you? Do not despise what you have. Do not despise the little thing that you have. That's what God is going to add on to. Bring what you have and present it to God and see a miracle come in your life. It is not over, brothers and sisters. Scripture says faith without works is dead. Put your faith into use. And faith that is small as a mustard seed. Remember, a mustard seed is very small. That faith, that faith can move a mountain. How many mountains would you have removed in your life if you use that small faith that you have? Don't withhold anything. Withhold nothing from God. Let Him take control over what you have, over your finances, over your your house, over your mortgage. Let him take control over what you have, over your children, and he will bless you. He will not allow you to suffer because you are his child. He bought you with a price. So the word that I would like you to meditate on is he will add to what you have and go back and read i would always encourage you go back and read those scriptures that are those stories that have just passages that i've just mentioned in the scripture the widow elisha and the widow go back and read it and meditate on it day and night read it again go back and i mean i know some of you have read about the uh, the, the feeding of the five thousand the kid that had five loaves of bread and two fish. But go back and read it. That's where the power comes from. Because there are hidden things that you may not have seen. In that scripture, God will speak to you. In that scripture, God will give you a solution. Some of you are waiting for an audible voice. But what if God has already spoken to you through dreams? What if God wants to speak? to you through his word and you have neglected to read his word so God will add up to what you have he will add on it be blessed